Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Alt New. In this video, I'm gonna give you a closer look at our Build-A-Garden Nature's Magic product bundle. There is a stamp and also coordinating stencil set that we're gonna focus in this particular video so that I can show you how to layer each images up to fill in the colorings of these lovely outlined flowers. There are four different sheets in the stencil set. The first two sheets will cover the bigger flower arrangements from the stem set. The other two sheets will cover the smaller flower arrangements in the set. There is a layering guide in the stem set insert card and the color choices that you can refer to if you would like to follow along in this video. I am starting with the bigger flower arrangements, going to use stencil number one, and this is adhered with our satin masking tape so they don't move while I am ink blending. To ink blend these lovely flowers, to go in with a solid area first, I am using pink diamond, ink pad, and the blending tool to add in the colors. I try to focus more on the center portion to go darker and then fade it out, but you can use however you want when you're ink blending them. Once we're done with the pink diamond, we're going to go ahead and bring in the second sheet. This is layering number two from the stencil set. We're going to add a shaded areas within the center portion of the flowers. To do this, we're going in with a little darker color. This is magenta. Once we're done with those, we're gonna go back to stencil layer one and just add a little color onto the center portions of the flower. I am using butternut ink pad for this. And then to add a little bit more depth to the center portion of the flower on stencil layering two there is a little tiny layering portion for these and i used pumpkin pie right below for those we are going to fill in the stems and leaves using our lime made ink just getting a lighter green shade and then scoot the stencil over to the right just a tad bit to add some intense areas of those foliage areas. And we're going to use fresh leaf to go in and add some dark shades. And that finishes the first flower arrangements. Let's go ahead and finish up the second one. We're using stencil number three, and I am going in with buttercream ink to fill in the gaps between or fill in the colors for all those solid areas of the flowers. Scoot over to the right and use the same buttercream to add light shading. Once you're done with those, I'm going in with a one shade darker yellow, same area, same stencil. We're going with maple yellow in this case. I'm just adding tiny bit of bright yellow color onto each petal to add some nice shading area. Then we are going to highlight the darkest area of each petal with honey drizzle by going into the other solid areas of the stem, uh, of the stem set. For the center portion, I used orange cream. Now we're moving on to stencil four. This should finish up this particular arrangement of the flower going in with lime ink pad for solid areas of the leaves and the stems for highlighted shaded area not really highlighted but shaded area to add some darkness i'm going in with grass field and that completes our ink blending for layering stencil set for this build a garden nature's magic set i hope this was helpful this is an outline stem set so you can always use your favorite coloring mediums to watercolor or do some alcohol marker coloring for more inspiration make sure to check out our website at altenew.com to see wonderful project inspirations from our lovely design team thank you so much for watching